welcome, welcome, welcome to Butterfly Ministries. My name is Pastor Debbie, and I am so excited to have you join us today. We have an amazing panel of women here today. I have a special guest today that I want you all to meet. So just sit back, get your coffee or your tea or whatever it is that you guys drink out there, <laughs> and just come and join us and be blessed. Thank you for having me today, Debbie. My name is Brittany Jarrett. I am the founder of My Inner Critic, which we are going to discuss today. And also, I have the title of Miss California Woman of Achievement. Amen. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Evangelist Rosanna Roman, and I have a program on this broadcast named Morning Mana, where we teach you how to advance in adverse seasons. Hi, everybody. I'm Carolyn Sweets of Carolyn Sweets Jewelry. Glad to be here today. Good morning. My name is Zaida, and I am part of Butterfly Ministries, and just so blessed to be here. Thank you. So to start off our amazing, amazing show, I invited this beautiful lady. Hello. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. Such a she is such a blessing, mm -hmm. and um, I want to just have her share her heart today. Amen. Just about my inner critic and yes, everything. Yes, yes, well, yes. You know, my inner critic, I started it because I know that many people can relate, if not everybody can relate to that inner critic, that little voice that doubts you and, you know, limits you and pushes you down below. And struggling with depression and anxiety in my past, you know, I'd gone through many obstacles and I finally got to a place of complete desperation, falling to my knees and just praying for God to step in because I got to a point where I just couldn't do it on my own anymore. And it really opened my eyes and I had that moment of clarity where I saw from the outside looking in of what was really going on and it really gave me that motivation to be able to seek out mm -hmm. therapists and doctors and a community of people who were relating to exactly what I was going through. And through that, I built my inner critic to be able to educate other people, be able to motivate other people so they can push down that inner critic, those doubts, those fears that try to disrupt that abundance and really reach their greatest potential. That is amazing. Can, I love your statement that says, my mission is greater than my inner critic. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, you know, that's, that's what keeps me going, you know, is that God has a mission for me far beyond myself. Mm -hmm. And that is what my inner critic is, is that everything that I go through, it doesn't matter because the mission is there. And that is what is that source of power <laughs> that, that makes me continue to strive to educate other people, to motivate other people, because God has placed this mission on me and that mission is way, way greater than I am. That is so awesome. That moves you beyond fear. Exactly. And, you know, with that, I became Miss California Woman of Achievement. It's things like that, you know, mm. that really get you to step outside of those doubts to be like, no, I have a bigger mission and I'm going to take action where I see action fit. And I'm going to take those opportunities and I'm going to rise. And, and God is going to embrace me with Ooh, that powerful. drive and that strength. And, and that's where I'm at right now. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When God put us together, it was such a divine appointment. It was amazing. And when I got to hear her heart, and when she was talking about the inner critic, that's where my passion is also, mm -hmm. because I work with women every single day, and men, mm -hmm. who listen to that voice yep. mm -hmm. that is not of God. Yeah. Amen. And God gave me this scripture this morning. It was so exciting. I just had to have to share it with you. Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, we all have gates, our eye gate, our ear gate, our, our mouth gate. That's right. We all have those gates, and things enter in to that gate. It can mm -hmm. be good, mm -hmm. or it can be bad. Mm -hmm. And the, the voices that we hear, it says in his word, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. Mm, Word powerful. of God says Satan comes to kill, yep. steal, and, and destroy. Yep. And the inner critic, to me, is that voice that says, oh, you're never going to be on TV, which I right. said, I'm never going to do this. 
<laughs> right. The enemy is a, is a thief. He tries to yeah. He tries to devour our sense of value. Yes. It makes you think that it's you that's thinking it. Yes. That's what that exactly. inner critic is. Yes. Well, we think we're, we're consumed in our mind and we think that this is that we're alone in this and that this is the reality when it's completely... It's such a lie. Yes. It's such a lie. Yes. That's and powerful. tells us we're worthless. Mm. We have no yes. value. Yeah. We're never going to be able to uh, to do anything. Exactly. We feel inferior yes. and unfit, right? Yes. Inferior and unfit. Yes. Yeah. And that voice is so powerful that it can move us into a place of depression. Absolutely. It can move us to that place of anxiety. It can move us to that place of even suicide. Yes. yes. Where you hear that voice. And I love what the word says. It's... Um, uh, a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the mm, sheep. Mm. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. What the Lord showed me this morning is we are that gatekeeper. We are the gatekeeper. Yeah. We are the gatekeeper. Yes. When those yeah. words come to us or those thoughts come to us, we can say, that's not God. That's yes. not of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We can Amen. hear that thought and what we do is we go and we follow that thought. And it makes us feel like, oh, I don't feel good today. Or, That's you know, right. I'm tired or I'm depressed or whatever. But we are the ones that hold the key to that gate. And we'll hear something or we'll feel something. And we'll go, you know what? I'm not partnering with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to agree Powerful with that. Mm -hmm. And yes. I saw in a vision that we literally have that key. Yes. And, and that we are the gatekeeper. And when the enemy comes in and starts chattering in our ear, we take that key and we lock that gate and we go, uh-uh, you're not coming in. You know what? God <laughs> says that we're responsible. Yes. We're responsible to guard our thoughts, guard our yes. minds. We are the creator of we're, our reality. It, exactly. So. I wanted to ask you about that suicide, what she was talking yeah. about. What's the percentage of men and women that are committing suicide these days. Well, suicide in the United States is the 10th leading cause of death. Wow. So yeah. that yeah. alone is huge. And actually with statistics, uh, middle-aged white males are the ones that are more wow. likely. And you, if you think really? about it, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, high standards and not being able to really be vulnerable with how you feel and being able to uh, talk about it because you have to let it out. You got to get it out, and uh, there's no shame. And a lot of shame. People feel a lot of shame when it comes to that depression. You yes. start to isolate, and you start to keep it within, and and that's where it really starts to take a hold of you, mm. and you get lost in those thoughts, yes. and you get stuck mm. in that reality, that spiral of depression and anxiety, and which leads to those suicidal thoughts and and contemplation of action. Mm. So I mean, it's. It's a big deal, mm -hmm. and we're seeing more of it and more of it in the media and, and in daily living. I'm hearing more stories. It's yes. heartbreaking, but like you said, you are the creator of your reality, yes. and it really starts with self. We have the free will, and we have to decide you know, whether we're going to continue to feed into it, which is so easy to do. But we have the choice to push that, to lock that gate, and to decide that this is not my reality and this will not be me. I have so mm. much more to gain. I have so much more to attain, and I am worthy of attaining that. That is so it. Go ahead. Uh, yes, the Lord tells us, he says, I have placed before you life and death. Mm -hmm. And he says, choose life. Yeah. And they're based on our thoughts. In yes. Corinthians, it says, um, to bring captive yes. every yes. thought yes. and to bring it under the obedience of Jesus, of, of the Lord. Yes. So we have to know what the Lord says about us, all the beautiful things. He has wonderful thoughts about us. And we, that's what we need to come into agreement with, mm -hmm. the things that God thinks about us, yes. not the voices that we hear, mm -hmm. not what we read in social media. Yes. Comparison is the worst thief. Oh, my. Oh, that's what they call yes. It. yes. Comparison yes. is the worst thief. Yes. So you have to know the word, and you have to partner <laughs> with that. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I love it. Amen. Amen. What do you say Beautiful. about the comparison trap. Oh my Oops. goodness. I mean, you see where we are with social media and, and just like everybody's putting their best foot forward, but a lot of it is a facade in a lot of ways. And then everybody's comparing themselves to these high standards and they're not just being 
grateful for what they have. And that's something mm. I'm really learning right now Powerful. is having gratitude with yeah. where I'm at and mm. believing that good things are going to continue to come in my life and God's timing. And, yes. and that, you know, that gratitude is, is what makes us fully happy. The highest level of success is happiness. Mm. Yeah. The, the rest of the scripture is he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Mm. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice, but they will never follow a stranger. Amen. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. And, and that, that is exactly, Pastor Debbie, is that the enemy wants us to compare, compete, yes. Yes. convince, yes. Yep. Yes. to prove and impress yeah. to other people that yeah. we're good enough. You know, I have to say, unfortunately, I would say not 100%, but a very, very high percentage of the women that I minister to yes. Yes. and counsel with are dealing with anxiety, depression, yes. and suicidal thoughts. That's so true. As women, I mean, we're moving at such a fast pace. It is a, such a transition in the world today yes. with where women are yeah. at. And, uh, you know, we, I, it's a, com it seems like a competition. A lot of women are competing against mm, each other yes. over this high standard that we put on, on ourselves. Cause we want to be great at everything. We want to be the best at everything, but you got to be the best for yourself. Yes. What are your goals for yourself? Yes. It's not about competing. It's about rising together yes. as women. because Amen. when we rise together, I mean, we are rising together yes. right now. We yes. are We're rising totally together. Are. Yes. And with that, we are going to excel so much farther yes. when we rise together. And we aren't competing against each yes. other, but we are united and we are grateful for, for what we have and what we're ready yes. to attain, what God is ready to provide in our lives, what we are meant for. That That's so good. I remember the Lord telling me, Rosanna, what you make happen for others, the opportunity you make oh. happen for others, mm -hmm. He will make happen for us. Yes, that is so. Totally. That so helps awesome. us not to yes. compete. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Our main goal, our whole main goal, is to be able to encourage the women out Amen. there and yes. to love on them and encourage them, yes. but also to push them forward into their calling, yeah. their destiny, yes. and their purpose, and to be their cheerleaders. Yes. yes. Amen. And. and Miss, this beautiful lady, uh, Carolyn Sweet, Carol. I want you to share um, a little bit about your story and a little bit about how God brought you to this amazing place that she's a mentor and she's a stylist and she's just an amazing woman. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Well, you know, years ago, I always thought that I was going to be working with women mm. because I always felt that we had a lot to accomplish as women. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and, and in my life, I was able to see the, um, the beauty that each of us had. Yep. And it was one of my special gifts that was, I think, given mm -hmm. by, to me by God. When I met Brittany, I saw a very beautiful person mm -hmm. and a very beautiful human <laughs> being. Yes. Uh -oh. I really did. <laughs> and I knew that I wanted to keep in contact with her. And I think that that's a, a big part of what I do is keeping in contact mm -hmm. with beautiful women and beautiful people that are um, interested in their life and moving forward in whatever realm that is. Yes. Positive realm. Positive realm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I started, um, all of this started out of, out of a tragedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the tragedy yeah. happened um, when um, my son, who was a firefighter, uh, had um, did a 48-hour <clears throat> uh, work, and, and he was fighting a fire for 48 hours. And then he got in the car to drive home. And he fell asleep at the wheel, and he was killed. Oh. And, of course, every woman, I mean, in your life, 
your children are just... Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. I, I can't mean, even it's, imagine. It's, oh it's, yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Everybody says the same thing. You yes. can't imagine. You can't mm -hmm. imagine that happening mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Well, in the healing process of after my son's death, I knew that I needed to push. Good word. Mm -hmm. I knew mm -hmm. that I needed to fight hard. Yes. Um, and I knew that I didn't want to be defined by the tragedy. Mm -hmm. oh, that's I so wanted to be amazing. refined. Wow. Amen. Wow. I want to be t refined by that tragedy. Oh, so I love that. Not powerful. defined, <laughs> but refined. Yes. I love yes. that. That right. is powerful. That's Can you nice. talk a little bit more about that? <laughs> Not defined, but refined. That is powerful. That is really powerful. <clears throat> well, I think that for me, it was being able to step outside of myself mm. because I was in a room and I couldn't get out of it. It was a room mm -hmm. of grief, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. I, and I was stuck. Mm -hmm. And so I kept knocking mm -hmm. on different doors, to, but I couldn't hear an answer. I couldn't open that door. I don't know how to explain it. Sure. It, it was a deep grief. Yes, yes. And yes. Pretty soon, I just kept trying hard enough to where I began to feel that there was something out there, that there was something more than what I was experiencing. Mm -hmm. And I knew that that, that <coughs> was God. Amen. And, Amen. and sometimes we have these big holes in our heart and we don't know what to fill it with. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to me. I was, I was empty. I, was, I, I had a hole in my heart. And that's where... We were supposed to put God. Mm. Yes. And, and that's where the journey began is where I found where to put God. I started beating. Just, it was just mm. random. I started beating because it was something to do with mm -hmm. my hands. And I was getting better. And I was beating. And wow. I made a necklace and I said, Patrick, this is for you, and it was oh. it was for my son, and I began to create jewelry for that, and then I began to use that jewelry, and, and by now I created three suitcases full. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> and yes. one of their creation is my beautiful butterfly. <laughs> that is so beautiful. That is awesome. So beautiful. How many years ago did he did this happen? Uh, this is almost ten years now. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been 10 years, and in that process, I've jewelried up a lot of people. Me <laughs> 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 included. Me <laughs> included. But in I, 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 yes, yeah, I, yes. I, I've been working for, like, magazines, and a lot of what I do is, is uh, helping young women to feel good about themselves. So I, I jewelry them up, I give them clothing, and... That started later, the clothing thing, but, you know, God always leads us to the next thing and the yes. next thing. It's never what you think it is, and it's never for the half. It's always for the whole. Oh, it's always beautiful. for the whole. Yeah. So, that is and, so And beautiful. so it rounded out that I became the stylist and the jewelry designer that I am today yeah. in that journey. It, and you're number Greece. one, right, you said? Uh, I have the largest uh, vintage um jewelry collection in California. You've got to see and what I, she has. I must see that. Yes. I must see that. <laughs> it's huge. Wow. It is. It's big and bold and, and beautiful. beautiful. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 I just made those. I just made those for your little outfit so that you could, you could shine. Just Thank gorgeous. You. So, so when, when he went home to be with the Lord, he left you with a destiny. Whoa. But, but but I didn't know that at the time, you know. and and Lord yeah. knows I was just a mom. Mm -hmm. I was just a mom. I, yeah. I was just a a woman that stayed at home and and I worked. Mm -hmm. I I mean I had a little job, but it was mainly to help the family, and I was raising my kids, and mm -hmm. I was just a mom. And and I didn't I didn't have awesome. anything more than that. I awesome. did I think of. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't in my thought process that right. I was anything more or right. God was going to use me for any other thing. But I was trying to do a good job raising my kids and yeah. being with my family and, and doing what was right. I, I was trying very hard. Um, and so when that was taken, mm, yes. everything, Gosh, it yes. felt yes. like everything was yes. taken yes. At, yeah. at one time. Yes. The scripture where it says, gone. oh, death, where is your sting? Yeah. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Yeah. 
that's where that comes yes. from. Yes. 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 It really, it really, it really is. And and for the women out there that have lost children, you know, my heart goes out to you. And and just know that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. That that hole that you feel mm -hmm. is where God belongs. And, mm -hmm. and just yes. reach out. You know, reach mm -hmm. out to other women and and you know to to God for that help and him trust me he'll he'll fulfill you in ways you Amen. you weren't ready for <laughs> Amen. Right. i mean i never thought i'd be on tv that's for sure oh, I, I never did either yeah. Yeah. It, it definitely wasn't a goal yeah not mine either god's full of sovereign surprises he's so he's so full of surprises yeah. i love the scripture it says my ways are not your ways yes. my Amen. thoughts are not your thoughts yes. they're far above and beyond i could yes. you could even think or imagine and being here and having my own show is just the most exciting exhilarating thing I've ever experienced Amen. it's like being born again and again and again and again and again <laughs> and and, and um, butterfly so cool. ministries is just like this beautiful butterfly that's just taking off all over the world yes and yes. and the purpose of this show is to encourage these women mm. out there mm. and, and to let them know no matter what you're going through, Amen. no matter what's happened in your life, God can turn it around for his yes, good and glory. Yeah. Yes. And and maybe you're in that little cocoon stage or maybe you're in the little chrysalis stage, but God is going to make sure, mm. he is going to make sure that you come forth as that beautiful beautiful butterfly right. and you know the Lord showed me something this morning too he said he watches over his word to mm, perform it. it so we as we it. speak yeah. that word and as we decree that word over us yes. it's like he's watching over mm. that word and mm. making sure that it will bring forth mm. life that's but the awesome. enemy is watching over his word too mm -hmm. so that's why we have to be mm -hmm. so very careful yes. To watch what mm. we say. Oh, yeah. mm. And even helpful. our thinking process. Yeah. Get rid of the stinking yeah. thinking, right? That's yeah. right. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen <laughs> out there, think about what you're thinking about. Yep. Whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is holy, whatever is good report. I say whatever edifies, uplifts, encourage, yes. and brings life. Yes. That's what you're going to be that. thinking about. Yes. yes. You know, the, the other day the enemy just kind of dropped a thought into my head and, and the Lord spoke to me immediately and said, what are you going to do with that? Ooh. And I went, I'm not partnering with that. <laughs> I love that phrase. I am not going to partner that. with that. When you partner, you go like this. And you don't want to walk Good with one. anything that is not of God. Right. Or anything yes. that would bring you down. Or anything that would encourage you. Or anything that would bring doubt mm. into who you are as that woman of God. I mean, I Beautiful. see big big things for you. I know yes. God is going to give you an amazing platform. Yes. Yes. And I decree that and I declare yes. that. Yes. And I thank you, God, yes. that you're going to open doors that Absolutely. no man can close. Absolutely. I thank you, Lord, you're going to close the doors that need to be opened. Yes. And I also pray that God is going to use your voice mm. to encourage, mm. uplift, the women that you deal yeah. with every single day to speak life into them, yeah. to tell them maybe they yeah, don't maybe. feel beautiful. Yeah. Maybe they oh, don't yeah. feel like yeah. I shouldn't even be here. Like I'm not even worthy to be here. Yeah, exactly. But then we have this amazing woman who's a mentor and she's their life coach. And that's why I just love her so much because she beautiful. does what I do and what we all do yes. to bring Good life point. into these women. Yes. Pastor, can I, she said a really amazing statement. You said, uh, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Oh, Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That is awesome. Yes, yes. yes. That's a, well, that's a pretty, that was a post, I think, on Instagram, and that is a pretty well-known quote. Isn't it Coco Chanel that oh, says that? Oh, I never heard I, it. I'm pretty, I can't, I can't, don't quote me on that. Okay. <laughs> but it was really powerful because it really takes that moment of you believing in yourself and it's not easy sometimes it takes time but it takes those little steps 
steps of, of encouragement. And really, we got to work on ourselves. Uh, personal development is so yes. important. I'm working Definitely. on it every single yes. day. Yes. And I know that I'm in that, that part where it's just before that butterfly stage. I have not even gotten to that. You know, mm. I'm almost there, but I know that God is, is taking me to this place where I am still developing and I am still learning. I will always be a teacher of life and a teacher, or teacher. I will always be a student of life. <laughs> Not a teacher. I will help You're teach, becoming. but I am the student. <laughs> yes. yes, I am the student of life. And God is the teacher and he's the one that guides me. Um, and yeah, it does. Beauty starts, you know, it, it's it begins the moment that you truly believe in yourself and you know that you are worthy, and and I understand awesome. for some people it might be hard to to accept that, but I I just got to tell you that you are worthy, mm-hmm. and know that you are worthy. Mm-hmm. You are a creation oh. of God. You are here on this earth for a reason, and you have so much within you that you don't even realize. Not and you just got to work on it. You just got to work on mm-hmm. it. Work on you. Mm-hmm. There's yes. there's a, a a meme that I that I love something to the effect that a flower does not think about competing with another yes. flower. It just blooms. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Oh, yes. yes. That's and, and good. And it and it really is about you want to celebrate the victories of others, but you also yes. want to celebrate yourself. Yes. yes. And you yes. have to be the best you that you yes. can be. You don't think about I want to be like her. No, you be the best you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We celebrate all of you yes. out there. Yes. 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 yes, and we send our love and hugs to all of yes. you. Yes. And we just absolutely, absolutely are so excited to have you join us today. It's been such an amazing, amazing time. Yes. And yes. Um, I am so blessed to have been able to be with you today. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.